and there, that's how I get that off. Now we got some clips that are going to be along this edge here and right here. See that? See these? These click into a bracket right here. See those holes? They click right into this bracket. So you gotta be real careful not to damage this portion when you do this. So take your time. This is something you don't wanna rush. Now these are some locking brackets back here. Just kinda gotta be careful when you're doing this as well. Come in here from the side. Let's pop these out. All right, see that? Now this whole piece and this, these are the clips right here. And then this just pops out. That whole piece comes apart. Now, check this out. We grow loose from the bottom, but not the top. Don't go yanking on it, you'll break it. This whole damn thing needs to go up and then out because it's got these little sliders that sit right here. Yeah, oh, there's uh, yeah, this flap right snap, here, Johnny? Snap. Yeah, I'm just saying, the yeah. I, there's, there's, and then you got these, these Do you have guys. One on your side? There's a bunch of snaps, these guys. Yeah, we got a couple. There looks like there's three. One here, one here in the middle, and then one down here at the bottom. And they just pop right out. You leave those. And there's the grill. Holy Easy. shit, that's this a big grill. This even closes. It's electronic. <laughs> Look at oh, that. It's like a window shade. Fun, shape. fun. What are you pouring? This is that radar sensor. We have to relocate it. I'm thinking it'll come right through here. Yeah. And it'll plug up here. So at least leave that alone. Little plastic clips. Okay. Yeah. I think there's uh, four of them. Yeah. You just take it like this. Make sure it's all the way out. So that way this will push back in. Find the hole, slide it up, and then push in. And now your rubber seal is back on. This bracket bolts to this. All right, so in front of it. I'm gonna use this tool right here I don't know to pop just, these out. Just, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in there just like this. I'm going to just push ever so slightly and pop that out. See that? Do the same thing over here on this one. Alright. That radar sensor sits at the very bottom. It sits right here. We're going to cover it with this bumper. It ain't going to work. So, can you see this cord? This, yeah. this right here it had a cover clips in the place. Right? So you just kind of need to, so why do you have to take those push down like this and it'll pop out. What do you mean take the lures out? So it's going to go in here like this. Once we get the bracket in there to hold it in place, it'll lock in here. And this is where it's going to sit. I found three bolts. Look at that. Look how professional. He even painted them. Oh, yeah. So they don't stand out like little yeah. sore thumbs. Very nice. Mic's on? Look at that. Voila, nice and black. Got some handy dandy tins. Alrighty. I'm gonna have to figure a way to get this big honk and plug it back up. The wire can fit in through here. Here. <laughs> 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 I'm going to tighten these guys up. 
I just used some regular tins with the kit didn't have yeah, anything so that's that they that. forgot that's to put the bolts in or something just so butts up together and it just sits um, we're going to go ahead and utilize this hole right here and take this bolt put it through there and we're going to send it through this hole in the bracket that doesn't look bad professional you know yeah that that looks fun and then with the supplied nut. More buzz can around, I can get rid of that. Go ahead and put that on there, and then I'm gonna cinch this up with the tools. And that's what that looks like. And come on the other side, Corey. This is essentially what it's where it's gonna be. Just like this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tighten these bolts up. Come over to our house and then we just get up and leave. So if that sits like this, we're gonna have to drill. And at least put at least one more. We gotta put at least one more bolt here because this bracket's gonna want. It's plastic, so over time you bolt through the plastic, it's gonna shrink. You know what I mean? And it's gonna wanna wobble. So it'd, it'd be best to we can drill one more hole right here and put it through. I think we should definitely do this side. It's flatter. Yeah, that, which is right here. Yeah. See a line, yep. so you can see the little line. So so the thing is straight. So do you want to get a marker and uh, mark the hole? Then we can use your step bit. Um, I think I can probably age, gauge it from the back. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> right, guys. Never try this at home. We're going to eyeball the hole. <laughs> probably shouldn't. You don't want to get a marker. Let's just mark it. <laughs> hey, Kevin. We're going to drill holes all over your bumper and grill. Try this at home. Okay, we won't either. <laughs> 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 you put one over there too, just in case. You never know. Uh, I'm thinking, uh, no, enough room. We're gonna take it back. No, out. I'll take it back out. Okay, so check it out. I got one of these step bits. You can use a screwdriver whatsoever, but I got I got lucky to have one. So I'm going to put it in this original hole real quick and kind of gauge what uh, the thickness, is. thickness of the hole is. And the uh, thickness of the hole is a number 10 on this, whatever this bit I got off of eBay. So I'm going to go ahead and drill. All right. All right, cool. Let's go a little bit, a little bit bigger. No, oh, no, go from the. Uh, oh, you're gonna do it from the other side. Yeah, right. I just want to get the the holes. We need a, we need a person to hold the. Uh, All right, so that one hole I made for is right here, and the one I made is right here. So we can go to the number ten size. Be very careful because you're going to plastic. You'll go through real quick. Now, yeah, one more right here. Ten. Ten. Oh, uh, that's eleven. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's roll it over. Now we can install everything else. And uh, it looks like Johnny missed the mark by far. The little holes don't line up at all. Just joking. That's perfect. Everything lines up good. We got that hole, that hole, and the original one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple of these. We'll put them from the top in, and I'll bolt everything down, and that bracket will be finished. All right. And I'm gonna go get the other nut and bolt, so we can do this side and this side. It's moving a lot, so we're gonna go put three bolts. But from the outside of the grill, you can kind of see the shininess of the bolts. So we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, these bolts uh, black so so when you look at them from the grill you can't see anything so it looks all you know like, like you don't want to see a little shiny bolt sticking out of the grill because it's all coming be coming out of the grill so we're gonna get all three bolts uniform we'll put this in the sun let it dry you guys can Go grab your girlfriend's uh, blow dryer. Make sure she doesn't see you doing this. <laughs> we got one. 
See, this is my girlfriend's blow dryer. <laughs> <laughs> Industrial. Industrial side. <laughs> People, what, who are you dating? <laughs> right? No, what are you dating? Dry <laughs> these guys. You know what? We don't even need one in the middle. <laughs> Tightening these just nice and snug. And that's it right there. That's not going anywhere. No. Well, it's better than going like back and forth like this. Yeah, I think it's actually better than using that just that single bolt. And this was coming from the inside out, right? Um, I'd go, I'd go, I'd go, I'd go from the inside. Ooh, just doesn't want to thread on there. All right. Yeah. So that's I how think, I think we'll go that way. Up. I'm just snugging these up. Oh, so that okay. Way. And then, because uh, I'm gonna uh, flip it up so you can get an idea of what it looks like and. You can just well, line it up with the gear. Make sure when you guys put this in here, you guys line it up with the gear, not the snap on these guys, because it controls the whole system. All right, so I got it lined up with the gear. I lift this up a little bit as I push in. And then that's there. Now we're gonna get this into here. I'm gonna use my pick tool. See how that goes in there like that? You know what? We're gonna have to oh, that's drill, drill a hole, hole right here somewhere. It looks like to get that plug through. Oh, I don't know about pinning that. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know about pinning that either. Yeah, it's like a custom fit right there. Okay. I think I don't want to reach. Pull back, pull back a little bit. Hold, hold the grill right there. You get some more snag up top. Now we might even have to loosen this guy. So we get more snag to come up. I just grab this guy from in here. Look at that, still doesn't want to reach. Right here, I'm gonna loosen this whole thing out. Cause it's got a little slack right here. And now we can get all the... There we go. A little and we more. can zip tie this back down. i to take this guy out. If your model doesn't have this, you're okay. But if it does, Look at that. It's almost there. Oh, 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 oh. It is so close. I think if we. Aha! I got it. All right. So now, look at that. Done. With phase one. These little, I got that side. Okay. These guys have these little rivet thingies. We're gonna see these. Remember when we took these out? We gotta pop these back in. We got three of them. basically what it's going to look like. It's like that. That means we could. We could actually put everything back put together. Back in because of that little center piece that goes in here. Yeah. 
That one needs to go back in there. So we need to put this, we can put this whole thing back in, yeah. put this back in. Throw all the 100% back together, then we'll slide the bumper on. It goes right here. Good, how you doing? No. <laughs> There's one. It goes